<laughs> Made a lava lamp out of the stillborns that she was collecting. It looks actually like awesome. Are we live, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, man. Calm down. What's with your energy Sorry. right now? <laughs> He's got like fucking horny energy sitting on a toilet. Scott. Yeah. Episode number 15 of the Muddy Michael Fully Actual Podcast, and we are live from Michael's basement, is episode 15. All right? We're nearly halfway through that the season. That is halfway. That is not halfway. Yeah, we're pretty, pretty much, much done now. 20 would be halfway. Pretty much done. Same thing. And Sorry. just to keep you fucking dogs in the loop, we are going for a uh, world... We're going to... We're in the process of speaking to Guinness World Records, and we're going to try, right, and have some sort of fucking podcast record and where we fucking str str go fucking for 40 hours or some shit. We're going to yeah, get something delirious. Like that. 40 or 50. Yeah, so that's coming. And plus, hopefully, we'll do some sort of live podcast eventually as well. What made you mention this? I just came to my brain like those. <laughs> popped, up, popped, up, popped out of the back! <laughs> um, what's the longest you've ever stayed awake, Brown? Because oh. let me tell you, meth will help. <laughs> Fuck. If you want to break stop. some records. No. Um, Seriously. I'd love to change I don't know, know like 20. It'd be like close to 24. That's so shit. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm that not. Is that's that like a really kid. Is. A kid who's like six does that. I, I did know. that at six. Yeah, but I. Dude, I reckon if we get <laughs> people on meth, Matt can do it for like seven days straight. Yeah, I get it. You want me to take meth? Yeah. So. Matthew Brown. <laughs> I set Michael's room on fire. It's oh. hot in here, isn't it? it? It got out of hand. We're doing this fucking fucking prank compilation thing called where we have to try and make each other run and so what i did was i started a fire on michael's bed didn't i, I like this is allowed like out if of we get pretty quick new house not like here yeah like i um yeah it got out of hand very quickly i don't even and, know uh, if it's good to do with the new house you're gonna burn the fuck no because you can out. have designated one burnt room we, we don't even if know if we're allowed oh. to post it yet yeah. we're gonna you guys might not even be able to see it it might just be on the website because it's it was quite dangerous but anyway sorry about that yeah well yeah it's okay like i guess <laughs> whatever <laughs> of course it's but okay like, baby it's not yeah it definitely would have been preferred if we had it's dangerous. So kids, <laughs> yeah, the whole don't the, the whole room Actually, was full of smoke, and all the fire alarms were no, going don't. off. Don't and if we fires. didn't have that fire extinguisher, God knows what could have happened. Yeah, but man. you're never going to learn if you. God don't knows. Fire. I've always thought, how the fuck do people who start fires like as arsons start fires get caught? Yeah, it must you be go the, to the bush, you light a fire. No one like must be the footprints. I reckon. Yeah, that yeah. must leave behind a a, a a trail of footprints. Fingernails. Hair yeah, follicles. Yeah, okay. Well, you think it'd get burnt. Spit, shit, piss, sweat. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, think it'd evaporate. make you sweat. CCTV. Yeah, they got cameras all In through the, the woods. Yeah. And phones. <coughs> whistleblowers. You got whistleblowers. Yeah. Okay. All sorts of different areas, man. So. Uh, anyway, that's our shit talk. Already? No, we got news, Matt. Oh, man. Do we have fucking news for you? <coughs> we are playing Tocker. Oh, no, we'll get into that later. Anyway, sorry. You got me sick. Yeah, you got a fucking day off. Yeah, I had or? three I days. Know, I didn't of know. I worked through it. A real bad cough. I was coughing up phlegm. Still am Look, a I've, bit. Yeah, I've gotten a yeah, lot I've of people the sick. Phlegm. And I don't give a shit. I've been going out and about. I don't mind. I don't mind doing that. Yeah. Anyway. Actually, there's so many sick people at the moment. <clears throat> I'm kind of questioning if it even was you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. fucking oath. Everyone's fucking fucking cunt. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> what did I just do? Yeah. do what, did that, what does that do? That puts the sound off. Oh, okay. Anyway. Did they get to hear that? What? Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, I think they'll yeah, 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 go yeah, through. They so fucking fuck that. that that'll, that'll go through. So. Uh, anyway, uh, sponsors, everyone. This podcast, right? This, this very podcast here is sponsored by the internationally renowned company Manscaped. Manscaped.com, all right? If you ha are a man and you're a hairy fuck or and you, you need to groom yourself, you smell like shit, your teeth are all crooked, no one even fucking finds you attractive at all, go to manscaped.com, right? Have a look through all the products there. Use our discount code, fully actual 20 for 20% off. 
and fucking go nuts because fuck you. Just do it. The body wash is the best. Man, there's all sorts of shit out there, man. The shavers are amazing. Stop putting that shit on me, Matt. Look, listen to it, Matt. Can you hear that? That's real. See? And it's got a little light on it so you can see yeah. where you're going. You can shave at night in in the in your bathroom. Yeah, okay? Right. You got ball wipes so you can get sucked off anywhere, anytime. Oh, yeah. With zero complaints. That's right. So manscaped.com, fully actual 20 for the, for the discount code. Go and have a look because they're fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, right. the other sponsor is the University of Michael, our subscription website where we post weekly videos, like 30 to 40 minutes of extended videos that we post to social media. But more importantly, videos that we can't post to social media fucked up science experiments where we get seriously injured and do some crazy ass shit all right it's fucking nuts plus you can get to know us in the fucking facebook group we've got a website coming to fucking replace really the good. existing one there, look there's a lot of good <laughs> shit there's over 200 videos plus you don't have to like pay straight away you can go and have a look to see if you like the videos and deem them worthy of staying and paying you have 21 days to do that so if you don't like them, if you don't believe what we're saying and, and saying it's worth the money, go and have a look for yourself. And, and, and if you don't like it, then leave. It's fine. Free of charge. There is no risk to you. Can there you is sign no up risk for to free? You. Yeah, you can sign up for free, Matt Brown. You haven't. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. It's been like so many years, man. <laughs> it's been nearly three this years. This is our fourth <sighs> year of podcast. Yeah, wow. But three years and since we've never had... signed up. <laughs> Some three, of nearly best three years since there. we started the website and, and there's shit on there that will make you fucking buckle You would cunt. love it, dude You're in it You should smoke weed You're in it Have you even seen the videos that you're in? No Oh, dude You, you probably wouldn't be happy No, it Julian was very made nice. it. Julian made it very, very inappropriate No, you were, you were no, very like erotic. a dominatrix naked. Very erotic naked. And we got to give you a lap dance Oh, yeah, I haven't oh, I have watched that, actually Do you have a um, cloth? Oh, for that. Yeah, for that. Yeah, oh, just... yuck. Is that spit? No, that's Matt Brown. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is. Fuck you. Yuck. That's your... <laughs> <laughs> Have a sniff of it, though. Oh, that uh, looks bad. I don't know what's just happened. It wasn't my fault. It's on camera. You can look at review the footage, Matt. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> done nothing wrong and this has happened. <laughs> oh my God, how have you done that? It fell off. And then second bit happened. <laughs> I, I kind of like a lot of this though. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so shit. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, those are our sponsors moving right along. Oh, we just had that was hard like half, technical death. That was like two hours. Half an hour, <laughs> I reckon. We've been here Fucked a, we been here were a long time. There were moments of us screaming at each other and crying. Michael was crying. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, there was blood. On we this blood day. Mm. On this day. Time for on this day. <clears throat> Sorry. We, we got another um, lying to Lockie segment coming this this week because it was fucking good last week. And and we've already got a successful lie amidst our friends, which you'll find out about as well. Oh, you anyway, lied to me. I don't know what you're talking That's about. That's fucking mate. clear already. What the fuck are you talking uh, about? You guys On lying. this day oh. in 1999, Jason Statham pissed in a plastic bag and slung it at a brick wall. It exploded and pissed showered down on the sleeping children below. The children sat up in shock to see Jason pointing and laughing. He had ruined nap time. Jason was then fired from the daycare centre he worked at. Who is he? Is he that and dude that's that plays what, AFL? That's what made him go into movies. He's that bald dude. He's oh, a transporter. He's okay. always been like an English gangster. He's, always in, he's also in Fast and Furious. Oh, Matt. Fucking hell. God, come on. <sighs> hey, while we're on the topic, did you see the new trailer for Mission Impossible? I saw that there's a Top Gun too. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be watching those, won't you, Matthew? Yeah, more already... Apparently Top Gun 2 I saw is like the highest rating on Rotten Tomatoes out of all... Of, it's like 98% or something. Apparently oh, so it's, it's really good. good. 
Yeah. I don't fucking know. Isn't it Tom Cruise in a plane? You yeah. was not want to, You wouldn't watch that. It's action. You I'm already not sure know if, what's going to happen I'm not before sure it even act- starts. I'm not sure if he actually flew the jets, but he's definitely in them. Like they filmed them in proper jets. He cruised in them? Yeah, yeah, cruise, Tom. Cruise control. He's actually watch. He actually watches. I've seen him comment on our shit before. Hey, Tom. How you going, Tommy? How are you, mate? We're getting clear with Scientology. Yeah, 110%, mate. We'll give you a buzz on Wednesday afternoon. Oh, I yeah, uh, emailed your assistant. All right. Now, it is time. <laughs> oh, for the most emotional, disgusting, fucked segment out of all segments of all podcasts ever made. Right now we have Matt's black book, which is filled, littered with stories of how he has halved women after women throughout his entire life. These are Matt Brown's fuck stories. Do you understand? In great detail. And just a little (laughs) recap, if you knew this week, for last week, as we remember... Matt Brown had to show the rest of the inmates in jail that he was an alpha and he attacked another inmate and uh, now he's getting, um, he was overwhelmed by the security guards. So now we open to page number 52. It's like a story. (sighs) Matt already knows what happens, obviously, because this is his diary. He's alone, all right? This is what Matt Brown was before he found God. (sighs) Number 52. (laughs) I was forcefully thrown into solitary confinement. My body slapped onto the cold hard ground. You can stay in here until your trial starts in six days, you freak! The door slammed shut behind me, and I heard the guards chatting as they walked off. I can't believe he just bit that guy's dick off. Yeah, and the vomiting was terrifying. What a fucking freak. I slumped against the wall and inspected my surroundings. It was a dark, cold room. One bed and one toilet. No windows. That's it. I lay on my hard bed. I had done what I wanted to do. No one would mess with me now. I was satisfied, and more importantly, I was safe. Mm, Time for a celebration. I slid my slippery arm down my jungle of hard, wiry pubes, and my hands started devouring my soft, squishy little brown. I wiggled and shook my balls, and they sprung to life. I pulled my pants off and grabbed the back of my knees and pulled my legs in towards my body. I extended my neck like a fully grown turtle and started sucking my brown cock. I slurped and salivated until I minced in the corner of my room. I used my shirt to mop my mints up, but regretted it when I realized that that would be my only shirt for the week. Days turned to nights, and nights turned to days. The only time I ever saw a human was when the guards would slide me meals through the gap in my cell. It got to day five and I was struggling. My beard was thick, and I was covered in dried, crusted mints, and smelled like vomit and shit and piss and sweat and spit cut. I was weak. I had not had anything for five days now. All creatures from my planet Quelch are meant to have every two days, or we can die. Not even self-molestation will do. It has to be a proper have. I had tossed myself endlessly, but it did not matter. I had to have. I'd even tried (laughs) having a few stray insects I found in my cell. I'd stuffed a moth up my cock hole and smeared my dick on a few stray ants that ran through my cell, but still, it wasn't enough. Lying on the cold cell floor, I started losing hope. The mints in my ball bag had solidified into two firm balls of mints, so even if I did managed to have someone, I would have to ejaculate ejaculate with such force that these massive hard mince balls would get squeezed out of my small little cock mouth, which could also be fatal. I lay there and felt my heartbeat start to slow. My body was close to shutting down from my lack of having. My little brown was writhing around in pain, making scary little sounds. I closed my eyes. This was it. I started losing consciousness. Then I felt a soft pressure on my ass rim. Then I felt my asshole lips expand and wrap around something as it entered me. 
I start to coming back to reality as I feel this foreign object work its way up my ass towards my guts. <laughs> my eyes shoot open and I look down my body. I feel the thing in my ass retract suddenly and then I see it. There, rock hard, swaying gently, was my own little brown. It was seemingly staring at me. I didn't understand. It looked as though my little brown was the thing that was just burrowing into my bloated, sweaty ass, almost like it had a totally independent mind of its own. My little brown then winked at me, turned and stretched back under me and slid into my ass again. I was too weak to stop it. Stand down, little brown! Stand down, little brown! I kept yelling, but my little brown continued to ignore me, burrowing, swelling and slithering further up my ass. Then I noticed a small amount of my strength was returning. I was starting to feel better. I was able to lift my arms now, and I started pulling on my little brown, trying to rip him out of my ass. My little brown started moving in and out, slowly fucking my own sticky asshole with stringy <laughs> strands stretching from the inside of my ass and sticking to my little brown. More of my strength returned, and I was able to sit up. I was madly tugging at my little brown as it unconsensually fucked me, and then I realized something. My strength was returning because I was having Somehow having myself counts as a have. This was going to be tough, though. I needed to have the most explosive mincing I'd ever had in my entire life in order to flush these hard, solid mince balls from my testicles. Five days without having had solidified my mince, so if I didn't ejaculate powerfully enough, the mince balls would stay stuck in my ball bag and I would die. So if I had any chance of surviving, I was really going to have to fuck myself good and absolutely go for it. Fuck it. I thought, let's do this. Uh, I started feeding my little brown into my ass. I grabbed one of my tits and tugged it up towards my mouth and started tonguing at my nipples. And yeah, that felt good. I choked myself with one hand and with my other hand I started slapping my ass cheeks all the while my brave little brown continued to fucking pump away at my ever relaxing asshole. Cream squelched out from around my rim as my cock got harder and harder. More strength had returned, and I stood up. My hips swirled around, trying to find the best angle to allow for my little brown to fuck as deeply as possible. I, I bit my bottom lip as my little brown started, hammering away at my G-spot. Oh, yeah. oh, I pressed my ass against the cell wall and started pulsing. All the while, my little brown overwhelms my G-spot. It felt so good. The thick drool had started flowing from my meaty lips. I pinched and tugged at my nipples, and that's when things escalated. I clawed in my body, leaving deep bloody gashes. I was now banging my cock-filled ass against the cell wall while I violently ripped and jerked at my nipples. I vomited thrush and I was screaming. <laughs> ah! My little brown fucked me hard and drove into my G-spot over and over again, then finally started. I began mincing. I pulled my little brown out of my ass and held on tight. The two hard mince balls in my testicles started their way up through my body. They were moving very slowly and ripping apart my insides. The pain was searing hot as the two solid mince balls reached my cock shaft. I push harder and harder. If the mince balls get stuck, stuck now, I'm dead. Ah, ah, ah. My two huge mince balls worked their way down my dick. I dropped to my knees. The pain was like nothing I had felt before. I was screaming and crying all at once and blood gushed from my cock mouth. I grabbed my shaft with my hands and tried to help squeeze the balls out. I was nearly done mincing. Desperate, I jammed a thumb up my ass and screamed at the walls. Then finally, the two massive solid balls tore their way out of my dick hole and dropped to the ground with a thud. A river of fresh liquid mints followed and I sprayed every surface of that cell. <laughs> I fell to the ground, still in a huge amount of pain. Blood gushed from my cock and ass, but my balls were full of fresh, soupy mints and I'd finally had to have myself. I would live to see another day. It was a miracle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, fuck. Holy shit, at least you know. Like it's like a, a perk, like a vampire you that's found out you don't have to like that. eat other people. You it's like humans need to worry about starving to death or starving of dehydration. You know that you will never have to worry about dying from having because you can just fuck yourself. You can live <laughs> forever now. <laughs> Holy shit, that would have been an experience. That would hurt. Look how glazed I am now. Oh, wow. Holy shit, you're fully wet. That was 
hard, man. Oh my god, that was a long it journey. It takes a piece of my life every time. <laughs> it is dark. There's some it does. There. It does. I don't feel right for the next three days. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you got such hot. I have dreams. Place. I have dreams about it. Yeah, it's it's definitely like it's, it's not on behavior. Low vibration. It's not on. It's low vibration shit. I don't want to hear that shit, Brown. <laughs> when hey. will you? When will you get it, man? That's fucked. That should be in a fire. <laughs> yeah, oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Why would you save such a book? Why would you do that? Well, well maybe some Bible will help. Holy shit. I'll get some Bible it's out. It's time for Michael's Bible. And Michael's Bible is a book dedicated to his beliefs and values. And you will do well to sit down and listen to it. He's changed the lives of many people. Michael is Beezus. Michael. Michael. Okay. Michael, flip your headphones. Flip them? Yeah, flip them upside down. Yeah, turn them around. <laughs> oh. Every time. <laughs> Shit. Is that better? Yeah. You vomited okay. thrush, man. I'll open my book up. How does that even happen? You vomited stupid, thrush. Stupid, stupid cord. Thrush of the... Uh, I can't throat. even picture it. What are you doing? Move the cord behind you. Yeah. Over Matt, Matt Brown just yelled at you. Yeah, that would hurt, dude. Here we go. <clears throat> Cans can change shape and they are metal. So Can true. can bend metal and metal is meant to be strong. I think it's called aluminium or something like that. Mm, yep, it is. So, if you've seen the movie The Sandalot Kids, you are automatically cool to me and I respect you more than if you haven't. Get used to the idea of having some form of alien disclosure in your lifetime. Here's to hoping that it's used to your benefit. Sorry. Majority don't see the storm coming. Say sorry, sorry. Storms can be fun, but I go swimming in stormwater drains. But that fucking track back, back that track back, track. That was sorry or nothing sorry. Man, you, that, there is brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> there is brain damage amongst us three because that was beautiful to me. <laughs> Dude, I love the Sandlot kids. It See? is. It's a known fact. If you have seen the Sandlot Kids, you're a bit better than if you haven't. Is that, or is that real? Ever. Like the Titanic is that, too. Is that the actually Titanic true? has the same? No powers. way. Hundred percent. No way. Sandlot Kids is a true story, like Titanic. It is. They sh and they've made a second one. No anyway. way. Only the, f only the first one's a true story, though. Sorry about that. Fucking hell. All right. That, so there you go. I hope you have taken something away from Michael's Bible. Um, cause you know, it is, it might sound like rambling nonsense from an autistic guy who's had far too many bongs before he wrote it, but it's actually, there's some paths to moral value there. It's sort um, of like Mozart. Yeah. If you think about Mozart, it's exactly the same thing. And Shakespeare a bit. All right. Time for our next I segment. Think. And this segment. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Matthew Brown, 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 Brown! Matthew Brown, 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 Brown! He's right behind you! He's right behind you! Ah! He's right behind you! Turn around! The other way! Ah! 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 <laughs> and this is a segment where Michael and I have taken it upon ourselves to help our dear friend Matthew Brown out, to help him find a partner. We single-handedly go out and find someone and we call them and we set up a phone date with them live. My, Matt has never met this person and we will pick top three people that he connected with the most no. and fly them in at the end of the season and Matt will end the season with a partner. He'll it has one. been written in the stars. He'll marry one and no, three of them no. will live with you for two months. No. I and I don't know if I want to do this. It's a show. <laughs> and this one's in your sort of demographic. She's young. She's. I'm pretty sure she doesn't sound like she's a mum. She's like No I don't believe anything you're saying because I already know you've lied to me somewhere and I'm, and I'm in look, trouble. Look. And... I last two Bachelor Brown dates. Look, we have deceived you, okay? I will admit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last but two, we'll, we, we were deceptive. And have you deceived me on this one? No, no this Matt Brown. This one is legit. Yeah. This one is legit, all right? Now, I want you to... Her name is Rachel, Rachel. Okay. okay? 
What what do you what are you picturing in your mind right now? I don't know. I knew a Let's see how close I knew a you Rachel are. in high school. Let's see how close you are with your judgment over her for when you talk to her. I don't know if I want to. Come on. What do you think she looks like? Let's hear it. I don't care. What's your, what, what do you what, hope? What do you hope she looks like? Come on. You got to open up know. to us if you want to move forwards. I don't know. A bit of self development here. Just what what what, what Just are you so picturing the girls in a know wife? what you're after? What are you picturing in a wife here? What are your values? <laughs> No, you got like probably what five values. What do you What do you wow. value in a, in, a, in a in a in a woman? I don't know. Right now, wife. I can I can only think that they're gonna need a strong sense of humor to date a, me. Okay, a, and and um, I'm guessing if they're calling into this, they must have that. So yeah, exactly you're saying right. that I'm Rachel's thinking, the one. I'm thinking all the girls must have good sense of humor if they're willing to come on this. All right. Well, that's what about physically? What do you have? Do you have fucked. a hair color type? Do you have like? I a, don't. I don't really. I've never really. I never really thought. She lives really in thought, Brisbane. I'm, she lives in Brisbane. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! I guess spoke it, to her today. Guess I won't ask that question. Michael's already had a date with her. <laughs> yeah, I had to sort of interview them to see if this. Michael's was having. Date. Anyway, let's chat about my type after. Let's call her before she falls. Okay. Asleep. Now, now don't. Don't fucking freeze up here. Let's try and have a fucking I'm conversation. I'm already nervous. All right? Try and like do some fucking backflips or shit. Yeah. Try and impress her a little bit. I can baby. only do half. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello? Hello, Rachel. Is it Rachel? Yes. Wow. you, Matt, Rachel, you are on the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast. One of the... The best podcasts in the world. All right, it is. Before the best. we before okay. we go ahead, you, this is one of the best podcasts in the entire world. It's the best. The okay? best. The best. Yeah, uh, no. Matt loves it's you. No. Rachel, Matt's in love with you. Now we have Matt Brown sitting next to us, and he is just—he's been shaking, and he's been doing his face, squishing it up like a rat. He's crying like blood. a hungry rat, and his hands are all shaking, and sweats dripping off of his fucking head. He's so nervous. Oh, you're actually making me nervous. Yeah. Yeah. So, Rachel. We're, I'm going to throw it over to you and you guys just get to know each other. Pretend no one's here. This is just so you guys can see if you have a connection, basically. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, good. All right. So off you go, Matt. Start fucking talking. Fuck okay. it. Try and have oh, here we go. Try and here have we sex go. Here we go. Quiet, Matt. Matt Brown. Try and have sex. Hey, Rachel. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm okay. What, what's going on? <laughs> Oh I don't God. know, just doing a podcast with oh these my God. two and they're Tell freaking me out. Tell her how you feel. Try and feel I, her up. Tell her how you feel. I can't feel Come it. Come on, man! <laughs> well, it's happening again. Uh, Touch her boobs. Rachel, where are you from? Uh, Brisbane. Oh! <laughs> you could be neighbours. You could be neighbours. Find out where she lives, exactly. She's not going to tell me where she lives. Suburb. Just ask her suburb. Uh, what suburb do you live in? Yeah, that's good, man. Green Slope. In Green Slopes, Slopes. Oh, Green Slopes. Slopes. That's twenty minutes. That's like fifteen That's 20 minutes from Matt. I actually lived in Green Slopes once. You Ooh, could, you could fucking dig a tunnel from your place to hers, right near the mall, with your little fucking wombat hands. Anyway, so Rachel, what made you come on here? Uh well, my uh, one of my good friends, Taylor, is a very big fan of the podcast, and she was like, "Would you Would you mind?" And I was like, "Oh, go for it. Why not?" Oh God. I've, so, hey. Michael, this is my date. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, on, hang on, Matt. so have you ever watched this podcast before? Go on, Matt Brown. Go yes, on. yeah. So you know what you're Matt in Brown. for? I know exactly what I'm in for, yeah. Okay, Would you cool. say that you could, you probably love Matt, sort of? You, you uh, could. Look, you see a future. There, there could, there's, there's a potential there, That's yeah. a yes. Have you heard his black book entries? No, don't say anything okay, yeah, about Okay, you're it. right. We shouldn't bring that up. You're going to ruin it. Sorry. Man. Um... Go she can't love go me. Go she go hasn't go even go met me before. Go Take Matt. her shirt off. Go, Matt. I can't. Take your pants off, Matt. Stop. Go, Stop. Matt. Um, so what do you like? What do you do for work? What do you like to do <laughs> in your spare time? <laughs> don't, oh, he's doing that because he wants to feel her tits. She's trying to feel her booties. Then. Let her speak. Okay. Yeah. Well, right now I'm actually at uni. I'm studying psychology in my final year. <laughs> <laughs> you need a psychologist, bro. Yeah, after this yeah, podcast, no, you need one. one. You need one before. What do you like to do in your spare time for oh, fun? Oh, look uh, I usually usually just kind of stay at home or I'll play basketball. You play love, basketball a bit. You love that! Matt loves that. Tell her about table tennis. Say she has to love that. So does that mean you're quite tall because you play basketball? Yeah, how tall are you? <sighs> I'm six Ooh. foot two. But you can grow. Oh. You grow too if you extend yourself. <laughs> He's a very malleable oh. body type. 
I've seen oh, it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because I'm 5'11", so... Oh, that's all right. you guys, that's so... Kiss her. Kiss her. I can't kiss, kiss the her. microphone. I don't even know what kiss she looks like. I'm not kissing the microphone. Uh, Rachel, do you mind if Matt leans in and gently kisses the microphone? Go for it. Why not? All right, go on, Matt. I'm not doing Come it. On, Will you make it sound back, back, Rachel? Both of oh, you. Not, Come on. Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 you kiss Rachel. You guys shared a little kissy. That's so cute. Oh, this is God. the furthest he's been so yeah, far, this Rachel. Is, this is the. You are probably you've taken number one spot. You will be probably moving oh. in at the end of the year. Now, Rachel, if you do make Stop. the top three, would you be open to us um, all expenses paid trip to uh, to stay with Matt? No, um, hang, for, on, for hang on, the finale. Not like uh, not like not like overnight, unless you want to. But or you know, we, you'll you'll you can come and meet him in person, and we'll th- we'll give you a gift. Oh yeah, why not? I mean, <laughs> I'm probably nicer. But we just this is sure. okay. This Holy is good. Shit, this you is guys, big. this is big. This is big news now, Rachel. <laughs> oh. This is it's so important hang to on. us that you hang continue on. this connection. Rachel, don't. Be pressured into this, honestly. No, you don't have to. Yeah, Rachel, it's don't, okay. don't feel any After pressure. Being in their podcast, you probably need some psych services anyway. So. Exactly. Absolutely. And you'll be, you'll be you'll be feeling you basically plenty kissed. of pressure when you're around Matt Brown at night. Yeah, Trust even if me. this doesn't work out, I feel like, yeah, I need a psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, now, Rachel, do you have Instagram? I do. Okay, would you uh, please do us, uh, all of the audience, this entire audience of this podcast, do us all a favour and message uh, Matt Brown, one, 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 four ones, um, on Instagram and just, like, you don't have to, look, we don't, we don't expect you guys to get married or to go on a date, right? But we would Have really kids. love to exhaust you guys as an option. You might be soulmates. You could be related and you therefore... You guys could get married one day is basically what I'm trying to say. And it'd be great to rule you out because Matt does not know what he's doing. He's all alone, 40 years old. You make me sound like I have no idea how to date a woman. Absolutely like nothing going on. So Rachel, can you please do us a favor and do that for us? For sure. Why not? Thank you so much. All right, Matt. And will you keep up your end of the bargain and chat to Rachel and open up a little bit, okay? Let your bloody brown walls down a little bit and let some of your mints flow out emotionally. Yeah? Oh, yes. All right, beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, Rachel. You've been absolutely lovely. And we hope it all works out with you in the brown town, baby. That sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Bye-bye. See you later, Rachel. (laughs) Oh, my God. Number one. She's just taking number one position. She lives in Brisbane. She wants to meet up. She's down, like, the tunnel system. Last time you had a fucking date with a Brisbaneite, you went on a date with her. I think you should do the same with Rachel. (laughs) Holy shit. We just found... I reckon she's number one, hundred percent, right? That doesn't get any easier every you time. Kissed her. Every you time did very this, good. That was the best you've done. You I tried. I was, I was mentally you preparing. Up. It's taken you fifteen up. episodes, but you finally managed to string a fucking sentence together. And look, you got a kiss out of it. I didn't kiss shit. What are you about? <laughs> you you didn't get a kiss. That was a I virtual didn't... kiss. It was a metaverse kiss. Look, get with the thing. times, baby. It's twenty twenty two. You're talking to someone on the phone. You kiss the microphone. You're talking to them with. You just hooked up. You hooked up. I didn't kiss anyone. Same as if you kiss someone with a mask on while you're wearing a mask, it's a kiss as well. This is exactly the same. No. These days. I reckon that's the one. She's moving in. She's top three, 100% so far, number one. Hang on, let's try this for a second. All right. Rachel Brown. Yeah, exactly. It's nice. Sort of like red brown. Look, he's already thinking about... (laughs) All right. Thank you. That was fucking great, everyone. And do you know what it's time for? And I'm fucking fanging for it, eh? We're back. back. So what are we doing? All right. Next segment. Lying to Lockie. This is a segment where we call our friend Lockie and we just tell him a lie and see if we can make him believe us. Okay. I've sent him a text earlier today and I said, did you get that email from Facebook? 
So the lie that we're going to try and trick him with today is I'm going to call him and be like, yeah, apparently Facebook is, is phasing out getting paid. Monetization. Uh, is phasing out monetization, which would be so shit for everyone, for every content creator. So um, let's see if we can convince him with that lie. And earlier today, Matt Brown, Got you, to come clean. you lied to me. We lied to Matt Brown. Rack is not today. coming to Toka and we're not doing Toka. Toka is not on tomorrow night. Did you text your work and get out of it? Fucking hell. That is so <laughs> good. <laughs> Matt, listen to this. Matt Brown had dinner plans. No, I not just dinner plans. Do you want to hear what I had, you fucks? <laughs> so. Oh, this is so shit. So I like, all right, so fuck. So so there's different like offices from my where I work around Australia and all of them are coming together to have a meeting in Brisbane and then they want to before because everyone's going to be in Brisbane they want to have a, a dinner with all of them so everyone can meet each other and get to know each other big networking event It'd be like a big work event and they're like the and my boss is like hey I really I know it's last minute we really need you to be there this was today it's tomorrow night and I said yes oh wow and they're like, and I'm like, oh, well, yeah, of course I'll be there. It's not a problem. There's nothing on. And I committed. And then you guys tell me that, oh, we're going to play Toka tomorrow night. James is going to be there. Rack is going to come. Oh, I think Lockie's going to said he would. And then now, I so what did I do? I Because to get on the front foot, because I'm, I tried to be organized, I called my boss and said, oh, I'm really sorry. I lied. And I said, oh, I haven't. I, I had an organized thing with my friends that I completely forgot about when I said yes, right? <coughs> and now, we, we, we now I've got to call her back. <laughs> oh, I won't call her back. Tomorrow I'll roll up and I'll have to be like, hey, remember that thing I told you I had? That's, that's, really, lying. that's yeah. really important. So, yeah, it got canceled. So we lied to Matt and he canceled his important oh. work plans and it turns out it was a lie, so he didn't need to cancel. Anyway. That's what oh, we're all about. I really here. wanted to play. That's what this too. segment is all about. All right, let me call Lockie here. Now, Fuck, here we, we go. Are good. Nothing is nothing is sacred anymore. There's no. But like, who cares? You don't have to go talk to work people. <laughs> Fuck Dude, this that. is gonna blow. This is gonna backfire. One day you're gonna be like, you're gonna call me with something serious, and I'm gonna be like, they're fucking lying. Yeah, but like eventually you'll see, like you know. So you just just to be safe, just believe us every time. You're gonna be like, you're gonna. And now we got you out. I reckon don't call him back and sign back up. Just fuck that off. Now you can go home and have an early month. Go play Red Dead Redemption. I'd love to do, like, you could just do that instead. I'd way yeah, rather that over yeah, a maybe Woolworths I just, Yeah, maybe I just stay sort home. Sort of meeting. Yeah, stay at home. If now. I still work there. That's yeah, not a bad idea. No, we helped you. See, we got you out of work. Give us money. All right, here we go. Call in Lockie. Here we go. Hello? Hey, dude, what's going on? Oh, I deal with you. I was like, I literally said I beat Marty Michael. So cool out there. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Sorry, dude. I've, my phone's yeah. never on fucking. I kind of like to just think it's you now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. Um, Yeah, dude. Uh, Fucking, did you, did you, have you checked your emails in the last couple of yeah. hours? But I don't really get emails from Facebook. Yeah, well, I think this, I think they'll, you'll get it eventually. They're sending it out to all content cre creators. Apparently, they're phasing out uh, monetization. What? Yeah, for fucking uh, ad breaks on Facebook. What the fuck? Somebody's got to replace it, right? I don't know. They didn't mention anything about a replacement and it kicks in at the beginning of next financial year. So in like fucking, what's that, f six weeks or something? Really? Yeah, so in six weeks' time, no one gets fucking paid from Facebook anymore unless they introduce something else like the star. I think they're trying to like get everyone onto the stars thing. Because that's how TikTok works. I look at they're trying to do that. That's literally how TikTok works on uh, gifts from fucking like the audience so I don't know what we're gonna fucking do but oh well I guess everyone's in the same boat eh <laughs> that's fucking crazy uh, what they did last time last time they ended uh, monetization they paid out the last two bars to your in your payment oh fuck I hope they do that with mine although they just said pretty much um, that it just stops dead like you'll just stop earning money on uh, you know as soon as the new financial year starts the 1st of July it's just you, you won't make another cent through ad rolls through through mid rolls fuck that's fucking cool yeah <sighs> but anyway I just that's good. That's, uh, have some good have some fucking news cunt anyway good night eh? yeah. <laughs> 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 see you later brother bye <laughs> <laughs>
I wonder how long it's going to take for him to message and you. And like, he'll feel so, like, he'll, he'll message people like, oh, did you hear fucking monetization then? Like, that'll start a big rumor. <laughs> oh, everyone's going to be freaking out hard. I hope that he gets back to us within this episode. So that would just really leave it? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that's what this segment is about. I'd be so <laughs> panicking. We've just buried a bomb. We've buried a bomb and Lucky will discover it eventually and it's going to go off and it's going to be magnificent cunt <laughs> <laughs> just like we got you out of work yeah, yeah. fuck that is, yeah well, it, is, gets, oh, it is yeah, fun when see, it's not you you see, yeah. you see now fuck all right anyway comment below if you have any lies that you want us to tell Lockie or can be any of the boys we're not just strictly doing only Lockie we just thought we'd do him for the first few times yeah. <laughs> 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 the segment's just called lying to Lockie anyone yeah. can be Lockie yeah but anyway wow. um that is the end of that um oh shit did that camera just flash it did not yeah i'm pretty sure it started jiggling up and down it doesn't do no, that. It, do, it did did it did do 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 it did not yes it did matt how did it, it move the whole tripod back it did not yeah it did see it's still going but it's moved I hate that joke <laughs> <laughs> anyway time for the next segment which is the it's the cow the comment of the week do you understand the abbreviation cow if you want to read comment of the week I've completely forgotten to mention if you comment at all at all you are in the runnings to win $1,000 we will announce the winners at the end of the season okay so any comment can win we will choose all of the comments from our season 4 and one of them will win $1,000. This right here is the cow board. And this is where we, this is a separate thing, where we select one comment that we love, and we cut it out and glue it on that board, immortalizing it forever. And if you are on that board, you also are in the running to win another $1,000. We pick one comment, the best comment of the entire year will win $1,000. So comment, the more times you comment, the bigger chance you have of winning $1,000. And you might become cow and have even more chance of winning $1,000. Money all round. <laughs> fuck! Very good. It's very good value. And this is... Okay, this Marty is doesn't French. know about this one yet, but this oh, is what no. I came up with. And <laughs> understand it's good. If you really think about oh, it, it's good. If you really watch this podcast a lot, it's going to make sense. It's strong. Trust me. Go on then. Let's have it. The comment went to Sean C. Oh my God, Sean C. Sean C. Sean capital C. C. Sorry, C. I see. All right, and the comment is Matt, Dad, Greg. <laughs> Matt, Dad, Greg, because that's the second time <laughs> that has been said. <laughs> And why not? Oh, why not throw it out yeah, there? Sorry. It's a different person who said it. It's all right. Look, it's all right. last week we discovered that Matt's name is just his dad's name with a Matt at the front of it. So Chris Carlin's already on the board for a Matt Dad Greg, and now there's another Matt Dad Greg. Oh, really? There's two Matt Dad Gregs? Yeah, so I told you it's two stone. Oh, remember. wow. Yeah, I don't remember any of the comments on the board. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't well, mean everyone then Matt, Greg, Matt Dad Greg it doesn't need alright so there you go look how shit a comment you have to write and you could be in the runnings to win a thousand dollars so Matt get Dad your little Greg. fucking thumbs pumping it's for your own financial benefit do you understand Matt Dad get Greg. on that you, you gotta be in it to win it you may as well it'll Matt only take Dad you a second Greg. right and you could win money I've started buying lotto tickets yeah he has and he won forty dollars the other day but I spent sixty so he's down twenty Dad. Sorry, but well, you had a great time. Anyway, on to the questions. This is a segment where we answer your questions that you comment on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual podcast channel. We answer the ones, the questions with the most likes first, and then we work our way down, okay? So if you have a question that you want us to answer, comment it in and have a scroll through and like other people's questions that you want us to answer. Go for it, Matthew Brown. All right. All right. Um... All right, top question went to AA Flight Reviews. Oh, yeah. Which I guess is American Airlines Flight Reviews. Is that what you do? Sorry. Sorry. What did he say? World Trade Center, man. Demonetized. Deleted. Oh, my God. Sorry. Um, all right, so AA Flight Reviews got uh, top com uh, question. 
and he says, question for the podcast, can we get a have victim on the podcast to share oh. their experience? Oh, can we? Can we get no. like, please? we could get like ex-girlfriends and shit. Or just a girl no. you've been with. No. Yes, yes. There's no one coming on this podcast that I've had sex with. No. What about no, what about she will a, not? Oh my gosh, she's gonna love that you just said that too. What about Why? one of the oh, fucking just, animals? We were, me and her were just talking about it about the podcast like last night. Yeah, what about it's so funny you just whispered it over to me. Let's get her on. <laughs> no, she's busy. <laughs> what about one of the animals? What? <laughs> they can't one of the talk. animals that you've had. Let's now we want a couch. human to tell us exactly oh. what it feels like. Surely, surely to be fucking punched I'm full of mints. I'm so nervous that uh, an ex is gonna call into the bat or an ex, any, like a any girl. Any girl of that Matt Brown has been with. No, 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 message no, us, Marty Michael there. on Instagram, if you want to come on the podcast oh. and describe what it is like to have the brown mints, little brown, fuck up you and fill your guts with hot, sticky mints. Oh my God. <laughs> we want to know what not, it's like. Not, not one of them is ever going to come on this show ever. But we'll chat to you and then we'll, I'll talk, we'll just talk about what they said. Yeah. Through, through you. Next question is from, from Sassy. Um, this question is from Matthew. <laughs> we should legally change his name to Matthew. I hate it. Oh, Can we? Such a good video. If we give you 20 bucks, would you change the name <laughs> to Matthew? $20 to well, change okay. my name to Matthew. Okay. okay. I'd be like 20 grand. 20 grand and you change your name to, <clears throat> to Matthew. Oh shit. When you say it like that, it's not very good, is it? Why? It's, Matthew's fine. Shut Just up. Just say your name's Matthew, but it has a foreign fine. spelling. 20 grand. Nah. 20 bucks. <laughs> no, no, dude. That could be a great video one day if we're so rich that that doesn't matter. We have it on camera. <laughs> shit. Okay. I can always change it back, can't I? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah, fine. Matthew. Matthew. I got Okay, here it is. I've got to at least get it on my driver's license after the change. Yeah. And then I can change it. Yeah, it's my just name changing back. an A to an E. It's fine. Math. It's yeah. nothing. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. The question is um, and she thinks everyone is wondering this also, but did they sew the inmate's member back on or is he transitioning now? So if you remember last. Uh, yeah, the last black book. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I have no idea. Matt, you, you would know. What happened to him? Well, um, after you oh, oh. bit his dick and balls off, you're gonna have to. At him. I don't want to ruin it because there's more to the story, and he comes back. So, I'm just gonna. You'll have to wait and see. All right. Oh, well, there you go. He might reappear later. That's in cliffhanger. The yeah, that's that actually is. <laughs> that's actually a cliffhanger now. <laughs> All right. Next question. Next question is from Declan Kennedy. Um, do you boys prefer smoking bongs joints or having edibles? Depends. It varies all the time. Edibles are gr great on the weekends when you have nothing to do and you just want to lie down and just be high. Joints are great just at, like to relax after a big day. And um, bongs, yeah, same thing. You know, smoking think, doesn't get you anywhere near as fly, la, 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 la. I've seen you have edibles while relaxed and when you're out doing things and when you have them when you're out, your anxiety goes through the roof. Oh, yeah, you can't be in public with edibles. Well, I can't. I just, I prefer to just be screaming at the mirror in a, in darkness. I want to know how many people comment below if you smoke before you do exercise and if it's good. Yeah, yeah I've heard a lot it. of people. It's even Joe so Rogan fun. does that. Joe Rogan does that. It makes sure. you it's go fun. so much harder Does it? and focus more. It's so good. On the wheel? Smoke weed and then play tennis. Or go to the gym and that as well. It just makes you, yeah. yeah it all just around. makes everything all right. Very around. good. Everyone just do that. Next question oh. is from Matt Dog at 99. <laughs> um, question of the podcast, except Matt Brown, because he doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what is the most, him, hey? <laughs> what is the most embarrassing thing you've done um, in front of your girlfriends or to your girlfriends or with your girlfriends? It's embarrassing. Yeah, what's your embarrassing, most embarrassing moment? front of your girlfriend oh man i'm enjoying cringe offs we try and out cringe each other oh i can it's see you guys so doing that good oh like i've never been more entertained in my life does that mean you two are going to bring cringe as a couple like attack on the rest of the group i don't know but it's fucking good there's some funny dances yeah. going on and some <laughs> very very funny songs well so you walk through the door and there's a dance going on jingle offs it can be like 
crazy dance offs. It can yeah, be like, fuck, I can see it. It gets very exciting. Uh, yeah, I don't really, there's nothing. Some of the videos have been the very shocking ones where I'm shitting on him and stuff. They've like obviously kind of fucked. That would be embarrassing, but I don't really, there's been nothing, been, nothing really that has embarrassed me with Mon, but it is fun to embarrass her when we're out in public. Fucking hell. Do you do the farts with her? <laughs> oh, yeah. She gets so annoyed when I do real loud farts in public. <laughs> Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, very good. <sighs> very good. Wow. Uh, next question is from Fism. Will you lads film another orange throw video with the old mate Rocket Arm? Would be great to see some carnage. Well, we've done a part two to that, eh? The Mandarin Milk Skull, we have. Yeah, we have. So that's we've already done it twice. It is funny, I understand. With oranges, though? Mandarin's oranges are different, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Orange Ma- oranges, are, oranges are more painful. Not by much, though. Mandarins are surprisingly painful. The cushion, you would think, makes it be- better, but it doesn't. Fuck, standing there with James Lee pegging an orange at me. Yeah, remember we did apples, Ooh. and then we were nearly did potatoes, but we realised we shouldn't. Oh, yeah, that would fuck you up. You get one in the head, you're knocked out. Cold. They're like rocks. Yeah, that. You break a rib with them. Easy. Off they they are bed. rocks. I'm going to say it. Potatoes are rocks. Starts, they, they're spelled the same, I think. Yeah. King hit by a potato. Yeah, and fuck me. Remember our old live stream days, Michael and I, before yeah. we made a sense <laughs> from anything, from any videos, we would go live once a week and just fucking massacre oh, each other. I used to oh, love Thursdays. The shares. I'd finish work and I'd get in the car and I'd just drive. I didn't even I'll tell you I'm coming. I just know there's a live stream on <laughs> and I'd drive there. with was so excited. We'd always fucking glue fucking thumbtacks to tennis oh, balls and dude. hit them into each other. We, I wish we could still do that for social media. Social media. Social media. Social Man, media. I wonder like that time we like kicked a ball of soccer ball like thumbtacks. thumbtacks yeah. yeah, I reckon you could do that again. That that, that was that was you. Up. It's probably good that that went wrong so early because that was just was able to just so heavy because it's covered in thumbtacks. It was just like a cannonball with with edges on it. And it I just th- rips flesh off. I think the mistake was you took it front on. I think you should have turned around, take it ass back, and and. But what and if it, it cuts like your fucking thigh? Yeah, or or just glances off your ass cheek oh, and yeah. strips a chunk of you. I'm good with it. All right, I'll do it. We'll with redo next it. Time. We'll redo that. Yeah, we'll do it. To, I'll I'll jump in next time. No, you won't. If, if, you're, you, if you're afraid to do it, I'll come and do it with you. You would do that. Yep. You swear, you swear you to Rachel. Me, you would let me you, kick a thumbtack soccer ball at you. Yeah. You promised to Rachel? Yeah. You got to check with her first. She might not want you to put yourself on harm's way like that, baby. You have to smoke meth for a thousand. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a Shit. toilet. What about... He's on a fucking toilet. When you do meth, you do this. It'll help, I reckon. No, I don't want to do... You could kill three birds no with one way. stone. way... I'm going to take a soccer ball, a thumbtack soccer ball while on meth. On Why? meth, you'd be It'd like be so way much more easier. stronger. Yeah, maybe I would turn into a maniac and think that you attacked me. Look, you nah. do, you do yep. meth. You'd be God, I reckon. I'd, I'd have each of you. You'd you'd do have meth. Like, yeah, exactly. You change your name to Matthew that day because now you're high and that'll be fun. And then you take the soccer ball with the thumbtacks at your ass because you're it, on it, meth. On that, see, that doesn't sound like a fun day. Well, I'd rather no, just it's, fin- it's, on the boys trip. it's on the boys trip I'd, I'd rather just finish work and just drive over and just be like oh yeah you know finish work and then go oh shit soccer ball and then just roll up and do it oh, but right, then so you still have to smoke meth and then it yeah, drags out of well days and days three birds what, what happened to you guys not mentioning it until boys trip yeah exactly. well, we're, yeah well, we're excited about it. your name's <laughs> Matthew I really want everyone to start calling <laughs> Matt meth Matthew it's so good. Yeah. Oh, he's pale enough. He looks like he's a mess. <laughs> yeah, he's nearly transparent. Oh, I wish you started getting swords. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Next question okay. is from uh, Sastra99. When will Matt Brown get a decent chair, boys? Well, he gets another one, episode 20, which is five episodes away now, Matt. So you hang in there. And you've got to say, the toilet's starting to look good on you, baby. You're wearing matching shirt today. Mm. I just saw the next question. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I forgot it was there. No, no. Uh, next question from Steph Galloway. Doubt it. Has Greg Brown ever done meth? 
<laughs> no, Greg my, Brown is Matt Brown's father. My dad has not done. Oh, I should. I should ask him. I don't think he has. He's Maybe not, his mates offered him money when they were younger. Yeah, and that's oh, why I he named you though. the way he named you because he was on meth. Yeah, dude. I reckon if you name your son, oh, I guess Matthew. Off. If you name Greg, you've probably done meth. I'll say that. Yeah, I'm going to stand up. <laughs> I'm going to stand up with that. Oh, God. Um, See? Next question is from Declan Kennedy. Did you guys have any childhood nicknames? Uh, Marty Farty. What, when you were in high school? No, not high school. In high school, they just called me um, uh, the beggar. <laughs> <laughs> The German beggar. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. German beggar's back around. You got any scraps for him? <laughs> oh, and then they just throw it in the bin yeah. despite you. Toss it on the ground and I was fighting with the seagulls. <laughs> oh, seagulls? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had five pet seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> they just follow you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a weird witch. <laughs> what was your nickname? Brookie. Brookhouse? Brookie. That's your, and That's your lot. And Mickey BB. Mickey or Mike? <laughs> Mickey BB. Mickey BB. Mikey. James calls me Mikey. Yeah, he does. He does so. call you Mikey sometimes. Oh, oh we Ma called you Dirty Michael for a while. Yeah, because yeah, because we had shower. like we had the time where like four Michaels in our group. So it was there was little Michael. There was oh dirt bag. Um, I remember dirt bag. <laughs> I did dirt that. Bag I made it two weeks without showering. <laughs> yeah. I remember Henry once when I first started meeting you. I went. I was like, oh, what's it like living with Michael? And he goes, yeah, it's all right. He just has a little dark corner in my room. <laughs> <laughs> just where all the clothes are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't like my high school nickname. Everyone just called me Brownie. Brown. Brownie. Brownie. Oh, yeah. wow. Wait, Brownie. Uh, Brownie. But, Brown's better than Brownie. But the only, <laughs> only my high, people who knew me in high school, I feel, can call me that. Everyone else just calls me my full name, Matt yeah. Brown. Yeah, Matt your, Brown. Your nickname is Matt Brown. <laughs> <laughs> your nickname is your full name. Like my friend Jess, I think one day was just like Matt Brown, Matt Brown, and just it just sort of grew there with people. And I don't no, know. it's just hey, it's just when you look at your name, you just that's just how you say it. You yeah, can't. You, say they don't even say Matthew Matt Brown. They say Brown. Matt Brown. Yeah, Matt Brown. Yeah, Brown Town. Matt Brown. Um, next question is from the solution 41 here we go uh, what is the best thing you've done that wasn't filmed but wish you had filmed it oh man there's been so many the pig that almost killed me oh, would yeah. be unbelievable I reckon that would be the most viral thing we've Damn ever it. done yeah Michael we were filming once with this wild pig well not a wild pig it was a pet pig but it didn't like to be touched and Michael didn't know that and he walked over to pat it and it turned on him <laughs> and it not knocked me to my like knees it could have mauled him it's huge oh. it's like us three together oh man it was scary it later killed their family dog <laughs> yeah <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> not, not that same what day. Like a, like a month later, it killed their family. Yeah. I remember it stalking you in the videos in oh, the man. stories. It oh. hated Michael. <laughs> <laughs> it felt threatened by his femininity. The only reason why I survived is because the momentum of the push. It pushed me to my knees and then I bounced up quickly. Did it have a it snap at you? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. It was the scariest moment of my life. <laughs> Julian saw it. anyway that if we had a film it would have been the, one of the best things we've oh, ever filmed a, a lot of our stories that we've told we wish were on camera oh yeah true fucking there's been heaps of shit oh very good just picturing it it's very good um, next question is from Austin Taylor um, Marty did you did you even replace Michael's necklace that you broke on the cheetah video uh, no he took it to a jeweler and they fixed it Amber sorted that for me so thank you All right, next question, guys. Um, uh, next question is from uh, Manuel or Manuel or Manuel or Manuel. Uh, some, oh, God. But, uh, just fuck. Um, what's the funniest illegal thing you've all done that you can safely talk about now? There's a lot that we can't safely talk about. But um, the, the I guess kidnapping that guy. That's fucked. Like, you don't, you shouldn't get away with kidnapping someone. And it we, just shouldn't be allowed. Yeah. I'm worried talking about it. Yeah, but no, if they ask for you to be, like, they extradited. They, yeah. We were sort of. And they need the, the guy to press charges and, like, you know. Yeah. And he's he, not going to do that. He originally wanted to be kidnapped. Yeah. I don't think he even knows how to press charges. 
Yeah, so don't don't worry about that. Um, yeah, I don't think there is much other nothing that springs to mind. I'm sure there is though. It's a good question. We should think about it. Oh, oh, all right. Um. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Alright, final question <laughs> Okay, that's enough Oh, yuck Why? Oh, did that hurt? Ow! Yeah, that would hurt I knew that pain was coming oh, hurt a lot I knew that pain was coming Worth it And that's it That's, no, that's it, that's a wrap i got one more question um, This is from FRSR Question for the podcast. podcast. Uh, boys, what's your scariest ghost story? Oh, oh. Have we told this? We probably have With Charlie, Charlie. Oh, man. And just... <laughs> yeah, that was fucking weird. Michael, <laughs> those are just a weird, like, two months. <laughs> yeah, like, we were... There was a lot of... Um, pretty Michael, sure you can contact shit. Yeah, Michael was um, what happened? having sleep, sleep paralysis. Well, it all started with Charlie Charlie. You put two pencils on and you have yes, no written there and you ask it, you say all this shit and then you ask it questions and then the pencil just moves on its own. It's meant to. <sighs> no, I know what you're thinking. And, and uh, look, I'm the biggest skeptic here. You can't. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty calm. And that was like three hours of us asking it a question and it would move every time at the end of the question. And then there were times where we were like, all right, no one say anything for 10 minutes. Let's just see if it moves. And then we'd wait 10 minutes, nothing. Oh, yeah. And then straight away we'd ask a question, boom, it would move. Not to mention nah. the weird shit that started happening after. In one of our Q&A videos, there was a fucking white orb that flew in the, in the shot, landed on Michael's shoulder. He looks at it and then it fucking, ho he looks away, just ignores it. And then it fucking flies away. Do you remember that? Probably yeah, yeah. Bug. And no. Oh my no, god, no. I wish I had the fucking footage. Fucking and the fuck oh. like the weird electronic shit. Like I tried to stir it up one night by like abusing it and then finally when everyone got in bed, the whole house flickered on and off. Were you like, abusing it, you idiot? Yeah, I know. I, I got obsessed with it for a bit. The sleep paralysis can really bring on Everything something. was fucking flick like flickering in the house, Matt. Well, cause that's it was fucking weird, man. And you I was froze. You know when you're so scared, you just freeze for ages. Well, that's what happened in the first sleep paralysis. I was so scared. Oh yeah, I but you're meant somebody. to be frozen. But yeah, because yeah, you are, and you get forced down. This but is when, real life. Man. This is real life. This, this happened in fucking reality. He was able Not to move paralysis. his entire body. Baby. Everything in the house is going. <laughs> you shouldn't have fucked with it then. I'm saying that sleep paralysis, anything can happen. You hallucinate as well. But this was real life. The lights were actually flickering, Ooh. Matt. Oh yeah, yours is a dream, baby. The closest thing ever. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, sorry, sorry. But yeah, sleep paralysis is bad as well. I had that around that time as well. And that but is, you taught me how to accept. Oh, it. you can have fun with sleep paralysis. Yeah. It is not a negative thing at all. Enjoy sleep. If you get it, it's use it. Make sure you laugh at the spirits. It's yeah, the you gotta best. laugh. Yeah, that's the only you way. You can I'll... go on fucking journeys. I oh. used to, you used to start off by going, by going, fuck off, and like yell at it. I laugh. But at it. did you, that work? Yeah, a little bit. But then when you start to accept it, it's not it because it's terrifying. Once you laugh at it and yeah, you just sort of you show it to your it boss, though, you can create a lucid dream yeah. and it's fucking hot, everyone. If you've lucid dreamed properly in your life, you'll know it, it's and a, it was intense. one of the best experiences you can. Only have. happened to me once, and I like as soon as I accepted it, I was like, I think I got control of this, and then it was like, boom, and I started flying. You get to the fly. Air. It's it so like fun. A, it's like, like your Peter rocket. Pan. It's unbelievable. It's and like you I can feel these, the wind. And then I was in some sort of space area. Space time universe. continuum. You would have been in the space time continuum. Science. And there's these giant pillars, square blocks, and they had these like flaily arms, arms, and I was I was moving towards them. them. And then just when I was about to figure out what they were, boom. Woke you woke up. up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I predicted but all of that the, in my head. What you just shot said. through into space. Felt like real. Like, yeah, you could, like the wind was in your face and everything. It's yeah. so fucking hot. I want to do a... I want to have a dream. Yeah, you've never lucid dream, but you've I never really, dream. How do you, you not? Yeah, true. How do you sleep? not get sleep paralysis? Like I get it from lack of sleep. Yeah, yeah. That's that's when we were getting it, once in their life. That's when we were getting it when we were fucking working out clocks to the floor. And we weren't <laughs> sleeping much. And the fucking 
the naps during the day, man. And you got to oh, be alone. I feel, I feel like if you're next happen. to somebody. No, I would because I'd be sleeping next to Marty at the time. That's when we shared a bed. And he'd be twitching And around. I'd be watching him trying to wake up. Going, help me, help <laughs> me. Help me. <laughs> but I couldn't. I thought I was screaming at him. And then I wake up and go, dude. Sometimes you were screaming, but I just chose not to move because I was like, fuck, he's having this shit time really? right now. I'm going to leave you him. You could see pretend. me screaming? Yeah, I could see you twitching and shit. So, Bullshit. No, I'm kidding. No, okay. I couldn't really. I wish I could. My, my first ever experience. You should have lied. You remember our friend Emil uh, that we went to the wedding with? When I first ever moved into his place, like we were friends, but like we weren't super close. I moved into his place. It was night number one. And that was my first ever sleep or maybe my second sleep paralysis like attack. So it's fucking scary. And I was so scared. I started yelling out in my sleep paralysis to Emil. And I was thinking, and I woke up in the morning. I was like, fuck, did I actually yell out? <laughs> Because he's going to think I'm the biggest freak that it's just moved <laughs> into his house. Just trying to, just trying to get, him, get him to come, come into like, your bedroom so you yeah. can fuck him late one night. <laughs> oh, Emil, come here. Come and sleep with but me. I, I did in my head yell out to him for help because I was so scared. And then I was like, please tell me that did not happen. I'm pretty and sure it, it doesn't because he. Yeah. I thought I was yelling at Marty. I asked him one, I like maybe I can't remember when. And he said no. Sorry. But yeah, spirits... There you go. Spirits and shit, baby. That's creative. That's different. Man, our peer box segment is really, really firing up, eh? <laughs> All right. Now, you, where dude. fucking were we? Prank I'm call time. Home. Prank call time. There is, in Brisbane, there's a billboard, an empty billboard, and it says, call this number for advertising. So that's what Michael and I did last week. We were just driving past. I was like, oh, that's a fucking really prime location billboard. I wonder how much, just out of interest, that would cost to hire. So I called the number and the guy, this grumpy dude, answers and he's like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, that, that's not my billboard anymore. I haven't owned that for 10 years. They just haven't taken my number down. And it was, was real short with me. Very angry. So I figure so many people must call this cunt <laughs> and ask about the fucking billboard because his number's on a billboard. Like, has in huge in the middle of the billboard. Billboard. Oh, I hope this he could be So, so I am I going to call as Arnold Fine, and I will be demanding that oh. he advertise my pigs. Yep. This, this is. Good. I'm so excited for this. <sighs> yeah, you should be, everyone. Oh, please answer. <sighs> okay, here we go. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, my name uh, Arnold Fine. I see uh, your uh, billboard in uh, next to uh, Trump site, and I uh, oh, want to yeah. call about uh, maybe booking uh, advertisement for my uh, pick business. And I call see how yeah, much. Yeah, I huh? can't help you. I, I sold that building a long time ago. Uh, so uh, your number on uh, the billboard? Uh, it's uh, on on the billboard. I called the number here. It's been there 10 years. I have no idea. I can't help you, sorry. So you could you leave your number on billboard for 10 years? You expect me uh, to believe that uh, you have not to call them and say, take my number down, huh? I wish I, wish I could. Why are you not to call uh, and tell them to remove number, huh? Then no, no one call you, huh? You well, don't, I don't want... I don't, know who, I don't know who the new owners are. You, uh, listen here, pussycat, okay? You tell me that uh, this is not uh, because I have accent. Uh, you don't want to uh, or do business with a strange foreign man uh, with pig. So you uh, pretend uh, your number uh, been there for 10 years. <laughs> You're actually really funny. Are you serious? Well, why you see, why you say that? Uh, you clearly uh, have some uh, discrimination uh, for uh, my uh, talking talking funny. You say that, huh? You me talk funny, and you don't uh, do business with me. Huh? What's that? You don't do business with me. Why? Because I uh, for her? No. I have no idea. I have no idea what you're talking about, buddy. Well, if I tell you, if I, you give me number fun, you give me number fun building owner. So I called him about the billboard. Huh? Why are you fucking me around? Huh? <laughs> some guy. Oh, this guy for listen. Uh, I have some no guy. Oh, what did? Putting my house. Yeah. F what do you mean, some guy? Listen, huh? listen, listen here, buddy. You there? You calm down. Yeah, yeah. I listen. Huh? Okay. All right. I've no, I've no idea who you are. Uh, 
and you need to calm down. Okay, okay, I listen, huh? I listen, huh? pussy. Okay. Cat. Don't ever fucking ring me and talk to me like that. Uh, what do you mean, okay. eh? Your number on and, billboard. And, and listen, listen here, listen here, no, mate. No, no, you oh, listen me, eh? You, are, you listen right. here, okay? I uh, you right. put your number on billboard, people yeah, call. good, good. Listen, listen here, listen here, mate. That number has been on that billboard for 10 years. Someone removed the skin, and so my number is now on the billboard. I don't know who the new owners are. And I have no idea who owns it. Oh, man. If you, you fucking ring me again, man, you ca- talk come to me now, like huh? that, I will come to your house and fuck you up. You, you want to, you come to my house? I, oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we have a new one. We've got one. We've got a fish. I'm going to fucking call that guy every week. <laughs> going through all of the characters until he blows up. <laughs> Next week, Margaret will be having a chat to him. <laughs> and then Rondo. Oh. <laughs> that is the best thing. It keeps getting better. Oh, he's he, quite angry. He's got an attitude, eh? Oh, it's man. Nice. It's nice. I love it. <laughs> oh. Fuck, it would suck, though. Your number gets... Because so obviously the peelings come off and the old number's there. Yeah, yeah, that's And he, they're ringing. he must cop it a few times. Oh. He sounded quite... Oh, yeah, sorry, mate. And he was quite nice at the start. And Are then, he fuck, fucking he lost it. I love it when, when fucking... When he gets, like, aggressive... What's his name? The German guy that you do? <laughs> it's not German, man. He's Eastern European. He's Eastern European. What's his name again? I don't do I'm him. Fine. How do you forget that? <laughs> Yeah, that guy. When he gets upset, it gets exciting. Oh man! <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um... <laughs> he got so angry. <laughs> he wants to fight Arnold at his oh, house. No. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, come he to your house to... and oh, fuck you up. I should have given him Julian's address. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Should have messaged Julian. Hey, mate, I've got a guy coming to give you a gift. <laughs> Come out on the street and meet him for me. <laughs> oh, we film it. Okay, oh. sorry. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of episode number 15. Come back next week because I guarantee you it'll be way better. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. Best, best, best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. Best, 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 best.